Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie Designs. It's been a little while since I made a video. I'm sure everywhere is just like it is over here. Everything shut down. The kids been home for two weeks. My husband's been home for about a week and a half. So the last thing on my mind has been making a YouTube video. I try to do one at least once a week, um, but there's no thrift store shopping. I've been working a little bit, but not filming anything. But today, I had a project in mind to do with the kids, and I figured it would be the perfect thing to make a video on, so maybe y'all could do it as well with y'all kids. So in our town, since we're stuck at home, they've been doing like a little fun challenge for the kids every week. The first one was to put teddy bears up like in your windows or around your house, and then you could go ride in your car and your kids could count the teddy bears. And then they did a rainbow challenge where you could create a rainbow, same thing, put it up, the kids can go around and look at the different rainbows. Well, next week is Easter, so they're doing a community Easter egg hunt since we can't. Yep. Mom, next wait, week. what about the one in the cement when we killed the tape? Is that the same? That wasn't a challenge, that was just some people were doing. Oh. Oh. Um, so the next challenge is the Easter egg hunt since we can't have like a big community Easter egg hunt, which is, is so disappointing because it's the babies. It's her second Easter, technically, but this year she's old enough to do an Easter egg hunt. So we'll for sure do one at home, but we won't be participating in any community Easter egg hunts. So the challenge is to kind of hide Easter eggs in your front yard and your landscaping for the kids to go around and search for these eggs. So we decided to make some eggs out of wood. Now, I created these out of Luan. I printed some Easter eggs online and I'll attach um, in the bottom out in the description I'll put a link to these eggs and this one's just the size of a regular sheet of paper so I have some that size and then these are about 14 or 15 inches and what I do is I print it on a few different sheets of paper and then tape it all together to get this bigger size and then I had some dowel rods so attach those to the back. I wanted something easy that the kids can go put in the ground it's, um, themselves. But another option if you don't have wood is you could definitely use cardboard to do this. You could hang it from your trees. And then I was thinking too, if you had like shish kebab skewers, that would be perfect to attach to the back. And then that would stick in the ground as well. So just look around the house and see what you have. If you have nothing that can stick in the ground, you can absolutely make cardboard eggs and just like this, cardboard eggs and put them in your landscaping, hang them from your trees, put them in your windows, just get creative. It is about being fun. So I just printed out two designs for the kids and using a... Uh, Carbon paper, the same way I do my signs, we just went ahead and transferred the sign. So you want to put the carbon paper down, the carbon side down, and then you put your design down, and then you just trace the pattern that's there. I'm going to do it real quick for y'all. So comment below what y'all have been doing to keep your kids busy. What are y'all going to be doing for our Easter this year since you can't really celebrate with friends and family? We've just been staying home, the six of us. My parents can't come over, so they haven't seen their grandparents in a while. It's just the six of us, you know, outside visitors. We'll talk to, like, the neighbors and stuff from a distance, you know, keeping that distance, but definitely nobody hang around the house. So you can see that it transfers the pattern. But if you don't have transfer paper and all that, again, get creative, look around the house. This is just uh, one of the baby's toys. And I want to do what, one with polka dots. So I'm just going to trace it. And it creates a perfect circle. And we're about to get the baby involved. Because, of course, she needs to paint an Easter egg. So I have an idea, a mess-free idea, to get her involved in this one. And I'm going to show you all a really easy way to do little small polka dots if you wanted to do that. I thought about painting them all white and having a white background, but we're just trying to do it quickly. And that would have, we have to paint them all white, with, uh, let them dry and all that. And I thought 
wooden Easter eggs would look like a little bit different. So we're going to use wood as our background. Are y'all having fun? Is it pretty easy? No. It's not easy? No. I think about to a different thing. Paintbrush. Different, yeah, you have to get the right paintbrush and the design. Don't do um, small, intricate designs because that would be way too hard with the kids. Okay, y'all see my big polka dots? Those are cute. And, okay, this is how you can do a very easy small polka dot. It's very, not very. Very. That's my color. <laughs> so you use the back of a paintbrush. It's already perfectly round. Get a lot of paint on it and just pull it. I just want to show that. Can I do that? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. And you can kind of swirl it around if you want it to be a little yeah, bit bigger. But it makes a nice little perfect circle. So I made 10 Easter eggs, and when they're all dry, which will probably be tomorrow, by the time we finish painting these and they're all dry, the kids can go put them in the yard, and as kids ride their bikes, we live in a subdivision, so there's a lot of people riding bikes. And yeah, I saw this little boy going to ride their bikes. I, ride, I rode my bike, and I saw somebody just put out three Easter eggs they already have. Three Easter eggs? Wow. Wee. Yeah, so once these are out, people will be able to come look for them in our yard. But don't find them too good because we want people to see them. Look, Waylon. Waylon, watch me. You dip it in. I need a better paper. Listen, you're not watching. Dip it in. You put it down and kind of move so it in a circle. Just go. Um, yeah. I move my you're doing it a little too fast. So let me show y'all what Waylon looks like. He's doing his like a little too fast. Yeah. So how I did mine was I pushed it down and swirled it around a little bit. And you see how good those came out. You can't even see lines from your um, big Can you put glitter? No glitter. No glitter allowed in my house. Sorry. Been there, done that, we ain't doing it again. I don't know about y'all, but I've been spending lots of time cooking and Cleaning because we are yeah. trying to minimize the amount of times we go to the store. Yeah. So you've been cooking more than eating the leftovers in the fridge. Yes, we've been cooking a lot. We yeah. We're trying not to go anywhere that we do not have to. But are y'all enjoying this time home? Yeah. No. No. I'd rather be at school. Ryan said she would rather be at school. I would. It's definitely been an adjustment because I am used to at least having a few hours every day. Yeah, now myself. we have a quarantine schedule. Yeah, we have a, we do have a quarantine schedule. We gotta it's not like a strict schedule, but it's just kind of to get stuff done around the house with six people in the house. Everybody has to help out, and they're still doing schoolwork. Okay. Ren, Ren's job is to make a mess for us to clean up. That yeah. is what her job is. And be entertaining. Yeah, and she entertains us. Um, I forgot what I was saying. You were talking about, you are talking about. Oh, yeah, I'm used to being home yeah. by myself at least a few hours every day because they go to school. When they're at school, the baby goes to daycare. My husband's at work. So having everyone home all the time has definitely been an adjustment. We've been enjoying it. The weather has been amazing, amazing over here. We actually have a cool front coming in right now as we speak. So it feels we're outside. Yeah. We have like a little screen in porch. So we're outside doing this activity. Yeah, this morning the unicorn flipped like 10 times in a row. Yeah, we have a huge blue up unicorn. We it's live on the water, so we've been going swimming a lot. Um, we shouldn't tell. So, I mean, we, we've been uh, definitely enjoying the slowdown, you know. All right, y'all hold y'all's up and show them what they're looking like. I, I actually, oh, hers looks like LSU colors. Oh, yeah. LSU I, colors going on. I missed them. Wait, 
I messed up my accent. It's okay. I like it. I think I'm gonna go Wait, what with. Is, I would see colors. Just purple and gold. Purple and gold. Yes. We're in Louisiana. LSU colors. I think I'm gonna keep my egg all the same color. So I'm gonna do the little polka dots in the same color and the big polka dots in the same color. So they're all gonna be the same color. Yeah. That's boring. Well, my egg is gonna be boring. Yeah. You know, on top of finding the Easter eggs, we could have people guess who painted which one. Which I guess they could just watch this video, right? <laughs> <laughs> don't cheat. You don't have to do all of them on camera. No, we're definitely not. Nobody wants to sit here and watch us paint for that long. But we're going to do 10 eggs. But I think with the three of us, plus Rand, I'm about to go get her and get her involved in yeah, this she's activity. Eat, she's eating her snack. And maybe my oldest might want to do one. He's a teenager, so he's not like really into he's 14. Yeah, really doing anything. He's not 14, he's 13. I just said he's 14. But he might he likes to paint and be artistic, so he might he likes to might want to come. Yeah, he might want to come do one. Alright, we're back. I ran out of memory. I had to go delete some TikToks off my phone. And the kids been painting away while they're doing that. So now I have the baby out here and I'm gonna show y'all an easy way. I've actually never tried this, but I'm gonna do not throw paint out the window. I saw a picture of it and we're gonna try it, see if it works. So what I saw was you just put like blobs of paint on the surface you wanna paint. She picked out three colors she wanted to use. And then you get a Ziploc bag and put it on top and just let them play with it. So put it in the Ziploc bag. Right. Put it, put it in the Ziploc bag to keep the mess contained. So do you like a big lollipop? <laughs> we'll see if this works. Let's hope it does. What if it's too big? Perfect. All right. Let me get ready. See, Randy, you want to paint? <laughs> she got two paint colors. Show them what y'all done so far. Oh, I. I'm almost done. I'm just waiting for these parts to dry, and then I'm gonna put. Red, look. Wait for the camera. And say hey. Randy, gonna wait. <laughs> Paper when it came out, but I, I think I gave it a cool effect. 
Okay, go put it out in the sun. No! All right. Baby Zilla's on the loose. Let me pick her up because there will for sure be a big mess if we leave her out here. Uh, Rand. Mommy. Rand, say bye bye. Can I do one with the bag? Say bye bye. Yeah, you can try one with the bag. Yay! Can I go to a different bag? Alright, the kids wanted to try doing the smushy um, method as well. And then we have one last big one to paint, so I'm going to do that one. And they're actually drying really fast in the sun. We got a nice breeze and some sun, so I was thinking it would have to dry overnight, but I think we'll be able to put them out today. Okay, you just need a small amount. You don't have to like draw the whole thing. Oh my god! Okay, I think I want to do like different color greens and blues on this one. This one's not going good. Give me them back all. So what y'all want to do for Easter this year since we can't go anywhere or have anybody over? FaceTime. Could y'all imagine going through this? before like FaceTime and smartphones and everything. Oh my god. Like they can still oh my god, talk to their friends every day. It's okay. Just yeah, I talked to Skyler like really late. Like, you got enough paint. Here, just wipe it off. You got enough paint on. Like that's enough. That's well, Ryan's getting crazy with hers. Ooh, it's gonna drip. It's already dripping everywhere. So after this, after this video, I'm taking a bath. Taking a bath? I'm not. Wait, can you put the back open so you can see it? Okay, I'm going to do... Sh I'm not, it's not going in. Alright. It's already smearing.